Hello everybody, it's Marcia and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for my creative scrapbook. So this is my second layout with the October main kit and this kit featured the crepe paper fresh bouquet collection and some heritage papers as well. It is a gorgeous kit. Be sure to check it out. So my creative scrapbook is working with a different cut file designer and so for the next few months you're going to be seeing cut files from Pear Tree Cut Files. These are awesome cut files and there are quite a few for the October main kit. I think there there might be eight in total. Um, there's so many I didn't even use all the cut files and I'm a cut file junkie as you know if you follow me. The one I'm using today is the Stay Home cut file but I didn't want to use the Stay. Uh, I am doing a layout of my son and his girlfriend and they just moved in together into this new apartment and so I wanted instead to use new home for my title instead of stay at home so I just cut the stay off of the top of the cut file and it works out really well this way then with just the home and I'm going to add new with some stickers from a previous kit later on. So I'm backing my cut file with some of the beautiful pattern papers from the collection. So the house, houses on both sides, I am just kind of uh, piecing in some scraps of paper. A lot of times when I back a cut file, I'll deconstruct the cut file and then do an offset on parts of it and cut that out. So that's what I did with the letters here, the home. Uh, I deconstructed it and saved the inside parts of the letters and then I do an offset. And most of the time I don't have to do any trimming at all then. It just works out perfectly. So I have been requested to do a video on how to deconstruct a cut file. So I'm going to try to do that for you um, as soon as I can figure out how to record what I'm doing on my um, computer. Once I get it figured out I'll get a video ready for you guys so that you can see how I can do that. So I am just finishing up with the title here, paper piecing in the houses and then I have to put the windows on. So my second layout here is based on the sketch. So there's a sketch that Laura put together for my creative scrapbook and it's an amazing sketch. Uh, this layout really went together very fast with the sketch. You don't have to think about the design you basically can just throw things on there and follow the sketch as closely as you want to. So that's basically what I did. So there's this pattern paper that goes up in the corner and I wanted to use the gray background so I'm using some gray cardstock for my background because I really thought it uh, worked well with these pattern papers and it helps the white around the title to pop maybe just a little bit more. I also think that uh, the darker backgrounds are kind of trending right now. I'm seeing more pattern paper backgrounds, darker backgrounds, moving away from the white backgrounds just a little bit maybe. I am gonna start layering some things on here with my photo. So there's this Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday. Little card here I'm tucking in that I thought was appropriate since these guys are living together now. You know, every day of the week they have to um, put up with each other. <laughs> so I am also bringing in some of these fussy cut flowers that I did for my previous layout. I didn't use them all. And so I wanted to tuck some of these beautiful, gorgeous flowers 
in around my photo. You can use a uh, cutter bee scissors to fussy cut the flowers. I think it works the best. And uh, I like to do it a lot of times when I have to sit in meetings for work on my computer. And work meetings can get kind of boring and I don't really have to pay total attention. So I can do some fussy cutting while I'm attending my meetings. There are a few um, die-cut ephemera pieces that I'm adding on here. One has to do with design interiors or home and garden, those tickets up at the top. And I'm not sure if I want to use both of them or not yet, but uh, they both um, are possibilities. And then there's this happy together little die-cut ephemera piece that is perfect that I'm putting below my title. So then I'm going to drag out a ruler and these white glitter stickers I think were from the previous month's kit and I didn't really use very many of the stickers so I'm whipping these stickers out to reuse now for October. I didn't want anything too big. I'm going to put these over my photo. So I arrange the stickers on the ruler and then I can kind of move them around until I'm happy with where I want them to be placed. So once I figure out where I want them to be placed, I can stick the top part down and hold them as I pull the ruler away. And then every once in a while I have to um, do some rearranging and move some things around, but not always. But it's a good way to figure out where you want your stickers to go. So I also wanted to put a bow on here. So I am pulled out my Bow Easy tool. This is a tool that I purchased at a local card shop that has since gone out of business. But you can also purchase this tool on Amazon. And this is one of my most used tools. I love tying bows, not just for layouts, but I use them on cards a lot as well. And then I'm just using some twine here and just a natural color twine and I'm going to adhere it to my layout with a glue dot. So there's also some more twine that I need to put on my tag too that I tucked in underneath my photo. I'm going to drag out the chipboard stickers and look and see what chipboard pieces that I possibly might want to use on this layout. And I really like that little small flower up there at the top, but then I decided I didn't want to use both of those tickets up there. So I, I selected one and then I'm going to glue down this flower up here by this ticket. I think it kind of matches those flowers in that pattern paper. So it's really very pretty. So besides fussy cutting out the flowers, I also fussy cut out these leaves. And so I thought it would be really pretty if I just trailed a few of these leaves around my fussy cut flowers on this layout. And I really like how that turned out. I like to distress the edges of some of my papers here, so that's what I'm doing with this card. And then I'm going to add uh, just a few more chipboard stickers on here and put the twine in my tag. And that's my layout. So thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to check out all of the kits that are available at My Creative Scrapbook. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.